At 634, the death penalty is front and center in Indiana after several police officers have been killed in the line of duty just this past year. But now a reintroduced bill could abolish capital punishment. Gina Glera joins us with more and Gina, why? Good morning. Good morning to you, Julia and Julia. Yes, yeah, several prosecutors are seeking the death penalty after uh, we've seen several police officers being killed in the line of duty here in Indiana, but that new legislation could prohibit this. Now, just last summer alone, we saw Elwood police officer Noah Shanavez and Richmond police officer Sierra Burton being shot just 11 days apart. Both the Madison and Wayne County prosecutors filed for the death penalty in these cases. Then earlier this month, police aide deputy John Durham was killed by Orlando Mitchell while he was transporting him near the community justice campus. Marion County prosecutor Ryan Mears announcing just last week plans to seek the death penalty in this case. Now, in all of these cases, trials, sentencing and appeals will take years. The wheels of justice moving slowly. Indiana has not executed anyone. In fact, since 2009, new legislation now being filed in the Senate that seeks to abolish the federal death penalty and require those death row inmates be resentenced. Robin Mayer, the executive director of the Death Penalty Information Center, says this would not impact death row inmates for state crimes, including the aid awaiting execution in Indiana. She says public perception around using the death penalty is shifting. Attitudes in the United States have been changing. We've certainly seen that in public opinion polls. We've seen that in the number of uh, death sentences that juries are returning when they are asked to decide whether someone lives or dies. Um, I think people are concerned about the tremendous costs of the death penalty, the length of time before an execution takes place, and, uh, and think that those funds could be used for different purposes in their communities. Governor Eric Holcomb the Indiana Department of Corrections has said Indiana does not currently have an inventory of lethal injection drugs and continues to explore ways to obtain them. Robin Mayer says there are only 41 people on federal death row and that is in Terre Haute, Indiana. Now, experts say death penalty cases do take far more time and are far more expensive. Julia and Julia Mayer says with the most severe penalty available uh, in our criminal justice system currently, she says it is important to, of course, ensure defendants get a fair trial. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much, Gina.